Hi friends. So for today's final video in the ABH Norvina Pro Pigment Palette Volume 1 series, I thought it'd be kind of fun to end it on a double header. I got a really great response from the last one I did where I compiled two looks into one video, but I thought for this video we could do actually two contrasting styles of makeup. I guess I just want to drive it home that this palette is very, very versatile for me and I really wanted to demonstrate that by showcasing the two very opposite ends of the makeup spectrum. For look one, we're going to do something that is the browniest, goldest, most basic neutral eye you've ever seen in your life. But because we've already done that with a lot of these series, I thought it'd be cool to contrast and compare with the boldest, baddest eyeshadow look I can muster using this palette. So if that piques your interest at all, keep on watching. Let's get started. Okay, let's just start right away by priming. There's a part of me that really wants to also compare and contrast two different eye primers while I'm doing this video. That could be a huge disaster, but this is a product that I'm very undecided on because I've had good and bad makeup days with it. It's been sitting there in my drawer and I just keep thinking, maybe I should just try you again. And I did it yesterday just doing my makeup just casually and I thought it didn't turn out so bad. So I'm gonna do it again and I could be shooting myself in the foot for this video, but we're going to prime today with the Urban Decay Primer Potion in the shade Eden and hope for the best. So look number one is going to be using pretty much every neutral I can find in this palette because there are a lot and there's some browns and golds and bronzy metallics that we haven't even touched yet because we've been going quite colorful with this series which is great but I really want to do at least one basic bronze smoky eye. I feel like that is a pretty good test for a versatile palette. All right so we're going to keep it really simple because the next look in the series is going to be less simple <laughs> to say the least. I have a plan and I'm terrified but let's just focus on today because I've got like an hour and a half to do this. The problem with this palette is that there aren't a lot of transition shades for the browns. I guess the closest will probably be what we've already used before and that's E3 but I really like E3 and I think this would be a cool test to see how well E3 blends on top of the primer potion since we've already seen it working with the soft ochre paint pot. Okay so we're gonna go in with E3 first to just lay down something in the crease for us to blend into. And I remember this packed quite a punch so I'm just gonna keep it really light and not go too fast. I really like the shape of the last eyeshadow look we did with this palette. If you haven't seen that yet, I will link it up here. I just thought the shape was like quite flattering. So I'm kind of like going in with the same idea and just perfecting it a little bit more. Interesting, this is already sticking way less and it's actually behaving really well. I've run into blending problems with Eden before, moments of patchiness. I don't know, things are looking okay. Actually, if you're blending this and really buffing out the edges and blowing it out, this yellow can actually kind of serve as a, an almost taupey transition shade. Always blending it higher than you think because you will just end up extending it anyway. Let's go in with a darker brown, shocking, I know, C5, which is the sort of more neutral, warm toned brown. And it's, again, I remember being very dense, almost creamy in a way. I don't know. It's hard to explain. Anyway, we're going in with that. I'm lightly tapping it over top just to make sure that there's no patchiness, especially in my problem area, which as we all know, can be a problem. Kind of want to bring this in on an angle. Taking another brush. Dipping back into E3, just going over all the edges. Okay, I think that's where I'm gonna leave this for now. That was pretty painless. I'm nervous, but let's keep moving on. So I think actually what I wanna do is I wanna put a little bit more of the primer potion on the lid, just to give it like a little bit of encouragement. Blending it out. I'm not doing like a cut crease. I just kinda wanted to give it a little bit more of something to adhere to. First, I think I'm going to tap into B2, which is that metallic brown shade at the outermost edge of this look. Oof, I 
doofa. And then we're gonna move on to A4, which is this sort of antique gold metallic, which I think will blend into this nicely. Mm -hmm. Those two metallics just blend into each other so beautifully though, wow. Okay, last, to add just a very bright pop of yellow gold on the inner corner, I'm going to bust out C2. Okay, before I change my mind or dwell on it any further, let's just finish up the lower lash line, starting with C5. going to finish smoking this out with some more E3. That is a appropriately smoky. Let's see if we can get rid of this fallout situation. <laughs> eh, it's kind of all over my face now. I'll just have to deal with it. I just kind of want to wiggle a little bit of MAC Stubborn Brown into the lash line, almost just on the outer edge. Let's use a little bit actually of this brown eyeshadow, kind of smoking that out. I'm gonna finish up my eyes off camera doing my mascara, my lashes, and we will come back, zoom out, finish the rest of the look. Okay, okay, just popped on some lashes. These are Likely Makeup's Sleepy Starlet. They're just long enough to be there, but not too long that they look ridiculous. I think all we need left is a little blush. Let's just use Honey Thief because it's neutral enough that I think it'll go and it's not too overpowering. I just kind of want the blush to sort of not be the primary focus, which is shocking, I know. I think maybe I want to deepen it up a little bit with like just a hair of Circus from the Likely Makeup Clown blush palette. Let's use some Milani Luminoso just because I feel like I haven't in a while. And then let's just have a little field day with some highlighter. Let's put that on the inner corner and brow bone as well. I'm going to have pizza with a friend after this and I'm gonna show up looking so fucking extra. Oh my god, I almost forgot the nose. Almost there, folks. Is it weird that I don't want to do nose blush or freckles today? Is that, is that weird? Is that allowed? Anyway, I'm gonna spray myself down. Honestly, with the furnace going pretty much 100% of the time now, that mister is so refreshing. I didn't really wanna go overboard with the skin today because I just feel like I wanted it to be a little bit more natural, a little bit more neutral. I'm feeling some sort of way, but it's not like the world will end if I don't contour my nose. I do love a good nose contour. I love a little snatch moment, but at the same time, I've been pretty blessed in the nose department. I feel like I should just appreciate the fact that I actually like my nose and I should show it off more. I got more lipstick sent to me from King Cosmetics. If you didn't see me use their products, I will link that video up here. Lucian was very kind to send me two more of their matte bullet lipsticks. I talked about how much I love their form formula and he sent me two really cool colors. One of them I won't be using in this video because it'll be a little clashy. Snake Bite, which is a metallic matte green. Super comfy, wore it last night, loved it. And then he also sent me this beautiful nude called Roll Model. I don't know if you can see like how stunning this shade is. It's like the perfect nude for me. I'm so excited. I'm gonna tuck into that today. But first, as always, we have to to line the lips. I feel like a really good match will be the Maybelline Color Sensational Shaping Lip Liner in the color Purely Nude. Okay, that might be a little bit too nude, but we will see. I could darken it up a little bit afterwards. Let's give Role Model a try. It's almost darker actually. Ooh, it's pretty, but it's super matte. I'm going to need a darker liner, just maybe on the top and bottom. This is Almond Rose. That's way 
way better. I do feel like I've gone in with a lot of lip products at once. I was gonna go in with a gloss, but I think maybe I'll pass. I'm however going to color in my two little freckly moly freckles. Oh yes, this is so basic. It hurts my soul. Actually, I'm really loving this look. I feel really pretty and I feel like I could go out and not look too over the top, especially with the skin dialed down. Yeah, I'm really happy with how this turned out and I'm looking forward to the next look as well because I feel like now that I've satisfied my curiosity for a very neutral look, I'm going to just go all in on the bold look. Anyway, I'm gonna stop talking because we have a whole other look to get to. And for me, it'll be in a couple days from now. And for you, it'll be right now. Okay, it is officially like way too many days later since I filmed the first part of this video. So uh, a lot of life has happened since then. This is not the time to update you on those things, but if you guys want a get ready with me with some chatting and some life updates, please just let me know in the comments down below. In the time that I've been away, I hit 900 subscribers. Thank you so much. I know a lot of those guys are from Desert Bus. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, please go visit desertbus.org. I also make playlists of all of my my time at Desert Bus every year, so I've already put that up. It's called DB2019 if you want to take a look on my channel. Let's just hop into this video because, well, you can probably guess that I didn't give myself enough time and I have shit to do. You may have noticed that I am feeling a little under the weather. What was diagnosed as a viral cough, I'm pretty sure has turned into something like bronchitis. Anyway, so apologies for the rough appearance. <laughs> my hair is in desperate need of a cut. Let's just ignore all of that and focus on some eyeshadow. All right, so like I said at the beginning of this video, I wanted the second look to be quite bold. And I'm having trouble parsing what that means out of the shades that I have yet to use in this palette because I really, really, really want to hop into this blue here. It's called D4. It's very unique in the way that it has micro glitter, which I guess we're calling sequin mattes now. Apparently that is what Tati calls them, so I guess that is what henceforth they will be called. But it's so beautiful. The problem is, is that there's really no, like the blue is just kind of like placed in here. It's kind of the wild card actually. Everything else kind of goes, at least to me, maybe not to you, but it just kind of stands on its own because it's not purple. It is quite blue. Let me see if I can build up this swatch a little bit. And again, swatches can be pretty deceiving. So I think I'm gonna keep it bold, but graphic. I don't know, let's prime and we'll figure shit out later. So I think for the first part of this video, I used the Urban Decay Primer Potion in the shade Eden. So to compare and contrast, I wanted to try Trusty Old Soft Ochre Paint Pot by MAC just to see how they perform side by side. I also haven't done my base because I don't know how much fallout we're gonna have in this uh, situation. I'm just gonna start like playing with that blue shadow and seeing what happens. Just kinda wanna see what happens when I put it on my lid. I kinda just wanna take it into a wing shape. So I was kind of hoping that this blue would have a little bit more dimension, but it is quite dark. I was expecting it to be quite a lot brighter, actually. I'm just gonna try blending out the edges a little bit. It doesn't really want to blend. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to prime underneath my eye as well and finish off the blue under the eye. kind of cool. I'm gonna take D1, which is this yellow, and I'm going to blend out everything with that. Let's just see what happens. Okay, that looks pretty cool because color theory, it blends from blue to green to yellow. So it kind of creates its own transition shade. Really curious to see what would happen if I blended the red underneath. Let's find out. It's not 
blending into the blue as much as I wanted it to, although I feel like that's just more like brush problems than it is anything else. But I kind of didn't realize until just now that this palette comes with your basic primary colors, albeit one of them is micro glitter, but to me it isn't a true sequin shade because there's just no shift, there's no sparkle, it just all blends away, which is why glitter mattes are pointless. Anyway, I'm going to finish this off with a little bit of just white in the inner corner. I'm gonna finish this up off camera, put on some lashes, do my base, and we will reconvene in a moment. Okay, base is on, lashes are on. This went in a completely sideways direction that I did not expect it to go, but I actually really like the outcome. I mean, when have I ever done something planned on this channel? Maybe twice, and both those times were Halloween. These lashes are Rouge and Rogue Miss Fury. They are probably my biggest, boldest, baddest lashes I could possibly find. And I popped some yellow liner in the waterline. It's the ColourPop one in Punch. I was gonna put on some yellow mascara on the lower lash line as well, but I am sad to report that mine is broken. Let's do some blush. And I think I actually like the idea of using the exact same blush as I did in the first part of this video. So I'm just gonna use my Honey Thief blush by Melt. It's the one that is so dusty but so beautiful. And it's so dusty that I've actually hit pan on it because of how much fallout there is from it. But I just love how it looks. Uh, if you haven't been to my channel before, this is Milani's Luminoso. Pretty much goes on every time I film. Cause you can't really argue with that. And I think to top everything off, I'm gonna go in with Fenty's How Many Carrots because it's probably the most neutral highlighter I can think of because it doesn't have any color. And I think I'm definitely gonna put that on the inner corner because this eyeshadow basically reads all matte. And why the heck not? Let's just put it on the brow bone. Okay, let's give her a spray. Okay, and let's finish this all off. I think I'm gonna do the same lip combo I did in the first look, but make it a little glossy. Anyway, let's line to high heaven. Okay, lastly, I just wanna go over top with the Maybelline Shine Compulsion in Baddest Beige, which is my favorite glossy nude. For those of you who are new to my channel, I always put on bottom mascara after everything, just so that the setting spray doesn't get it all over my hard work. I think the last thing I wanna do is freckles. Tragically running low on freck. And that, my friends, is about as good as it's gonna get with me today. I wasn't expecting perfection today. And you know what? I surprised myself with how well this turned out. I definitely thought this was gonna be kind of a disaster. I'm glad that I could pick up this palette and be inspired by it just in the moment, which was really, really nice, which I do think is the mark of a really well-designed palette. So I think this is where I'm going to end this series. I think six looks is enough for one palette, and I think you guys are probably gonna start just getting really tired of it. So I'm gonna move on, and I'm really happy with where I'm leaving it today because I did what I set out to do, which was show you basically the many, many ways that this palette can perform. It is an incredibly versatile palette. Looking at these tones, I definitely did not imagine that something like this would come out of it. I was just constantly impressed pretty much every time I used it. So hats off to Norvina, hats off to ABH. If you're gonna pick up any of the three, I would say go with this one, just because looking at the color schemes of the other three, I feel like this was her baby. I don't know, I just, I look at the other ones and I think they're kind of variations on a theme, but this one just to me feels very complete. I will link the entire series up here. There you will see from start to finish how many looks I could get out of it. And I think you'll be surprised. I'm certainly surprised, 
pleasantly so. So I'm going to leave it there. Yeah, I'm looking forward to moving on from this and doing something completely new. Any suggestions, any ideas, leave them in the comments down below. I would love to hear them. I also want to know what your favorite look from this series was if you've been watching from day one. As always, I love to know your thoughts and your feedback, even if they say that my cakey base makes no sense. And again, thank you Lucian for sending me more kink cosmetics to enjoy. I absolutely am in love with this nude. Role model is just a stunning matte nude lipstick. So if you've been looking for one of those and you want something that is made in Canada, cruelty free, all the good stuff, then check out kinkcosmetics.com. I will leave all of his stuff linked down below. They are really, really sweet for sending me more products to try. And again, I'm blown away. So thank you. Here are the many ways you can help out this channel. One, you could like this video. Two, you could comment down below on what you thought of the video. Three, you could subscribe. Four, you could follow me on other social media. My Instagram is at Madeleine, the same way it is spelled here, and my Twitter is at Madsuds, which is M-A-D-D-S-U-D-Z. And last but not least, five, you can go check out the Patreon link in my description box down below. Just go take a look at it. I don't, I don't need you to commit to anything. I just want you to, I just want you to go take a look, all right? Okay, thank you. I really hope you enjoyed this series. I know I really enjoyed making it. I'm really glad that I was able to just like carve some time into this crazy schedule of mine to finish it. Thank you for being patient. Anyway, I will stop blathering. Please be kind and be generous to everyone you meet out there in the world today and hopefully I will see you on the next one. Bye guys.